are still closing in to Friday the 13th, ladies and gentlemen, here for What's Up Wrestling. Here in the birthplace of What's Up Wrestling, Seth got you on. Let's get it on.
Due to contractual obligations as the cool Divas champion, she is still remaining. At some point, Emily will try to have that title defended since she could lose it and basically step away from the harem. We haven't heard much from her lately. And the way that match ended up, or that debut match of Terry Gold ended with Terry Gold. Sultan Emily on the outside, and now last week, I suppose you could say Terry getting a taste of her own medicine. Indeed, Roxy and Sahara meeting middle of the ring, and Sahara with a quick Hurricane Rana taking Roxy down. We've seen these two go out in just a few weeks' time. On Friday the 13th for the Women's Championship. Here with a snapmare and a try to knee Roxy in the back. Misses out on that. Hopefully she doesn't pull anything there. Want her to end up like Catherine Neville. Still out on recovery. So ladies and gentlemen, just trying to work in as many of the Vixens as I can here in Wessel Wrestling. We should also notice, know that Sahara has a bit of a darker streak to herself as well as of late. Her victory over Ida was not exactly what one would call a clean finish. Sahara with the reverse DDT taking Roxy down. The other way around. And Roxy now grabbing hold of Sahara, bringing her towards her corner, and Sahara fighting back. Several elbows to the gut. Sarah's shaking it off, and... Some fisherman suplex, and Roxy, for a bit there, was crawling towards Terry. And Sarah's going to help her get there. Roxy fighting back. Takes Sahara down. Now makes the tag to Zoe. With a bulldog and Terry's in here, and here we go. Rematch situation from last week. A couple of knees and a clothesline from Terry. Doubt that Terry will be holding back in any regard. Shining wizard to the back of Zoe's head. It's a hair of having rolled up to the outside, and where's Terry going up? She's going up top. Does she have a mind here? There it is. It calls for Zoe's coming up and a bit of a cross body from the top. So Roxy trying for the tag. Could not get it in. Power bomb. Just a stiff power bomb to Terry. Nailing her down into the canvas. Terry fighting back. Roxy again looking for that tag. Unable to get it. Just working around along the side of the head, bringing Zoe up to her feet, and stiff shot to the side of the head, continuing on there. Look at that arm lock scissors. Had it locked in, but Zoe managing to roll away from it, grabbing up Terry, and two Terry with the knee to the head. Forearm shot from Zoe, reels Terry back. Prone for these side of Russian light sweep. Has the ropes and Terry fighting back. But Zoe comes right back with a clothesline. Zoe pumping herself up for this one. It'll be another straight victory over Terry Gold. And crossface, middle of the ring, crossface, and Terry trying to crawl her way, managing to roll through. The damage may have been done, however, that's certainly not going to help any of it. And Terry makes the desperate 
dive, getting a tag into Sahara. Sahara coming in, shoulder block, takes him down. Zoe, and another clothesline, and another shoulder block. Stiff shot, and plants. Zoe set right into the canvas. Trying to engine to turn things around. It spikes the Harris head into the canvas there herself. There's a hair with a couple of forearms. I'm sorry, Zoe with a couple of forearms. Off the middle rope. Rushes in. Another forearm and a bulldog to finish it all up. Heavy shot. And again, Sahara planted down. Women's champion just made a mockery of, but now fighting back. The Black Magic and connects. Here's the cover. Both Terry and Broxley in there. And Terry was a bit hesitant there. Diving elbow off the middle rope. For whatever reason, the Saskatoon crowd is not on the side of the women's champion. This is Lance Zoe into the rope, sending her right back. And a few stomps to the butt. So managing to turn things around, sweeping out Sahara's leg. Again in the corner. And Zoe is primed and ready. Sahara still making her way up and trying to grab her from behind, but Sahara having her scouted. Now down into the arm bar. Putting on the pressure, the legs are locked around the shoulder. Unfortunately, could not keep it held on for too much longer. And trying for a crucifix power bomb, but Sahara managing to get out of there. Slow swinging neck breaker. And Roxon trying for the tag, and Roxon just about gets it. Roxon with a jumping kick, and another jumping kick sending Sahara right back into her corner. And a jumping back kick to the head. Sahara may be out cold after that one. He doesn't seem to care. He's going to keep going again and again as Sahara finally comes, has enough. Sweeps out Roxanne's foot under her. And a tag out, take a breather. To her feet, trying to welcome Terry in with a slap, but Terry managing to turn that around and rocks in from behind. Neck breaker. Is he pulling Terry away? Drew of kicks to the face and pumping the catnip, misses out on the cat's meow, and Terry's going to celebrate it, not realizing that Roxy is not fully dazed. Roxy may be an airhead, but it's going to take a lot more than that to get her out of commission. Leg drop across the chest. Here's the cover. Zoe trying to do what she can to distract the referee. Two. And just only a two count. Strikes her voice may have been enough for Roxy to recover. Again, Zoe trying to get back into the ring as Roxy delivers a high angle backdrop. Now looking for the submission, but so Terry's feet relatively close to those ropes, trying to get them there, and doesn't matter regardless. Terry managing to power out herself. And Roxy backflips around, infusing the catnip. And Terry just 
Scoops her up. Terry yelling at Roxy to get back into her feet. So it's hard to cheer on any of these Vixens here. Really fan favorites, at least with the ways that they've been acting as of late. And it certainly doesn't help with the hair putting your feet up on the ropes for a pinfall. Trying to come in from behind, but Roxy does it way better. And elbow to the sternum. Zahara brought to her feet. Trying again with another kick. And Rock Zahara has her scouted. Tags again back out to Terry. And Roxy crawling her way, could not get the tag. Jumping DDT connects. And what does Terry have in mind here? Just brings up Roxy so that she can slam her down again. Face first into the canvas. Roxy with an elbow to the gut. Gonna keep on fighting here. Hard reverse DDT. And he's just twerking on the neck, following up a stop between the shoulder blades. And once again, step down on the side of the face. Taking out to Sahara. That's not really going to get you any fans there, Sahara. Job breaker from Roxy who fights back. And off the shin. Of Sahara's face. Roxy now going for the camel clutch on Sahara. Submission victory over the women's champion would certainly improve her chances in just a few weeks' time. With Sahara not giving up. And Roxy can't quite hold on the hold the entire time, but she's going to wait. Infuse the catnip and cuts me out to the back of the head. Cover now. Zoe in the ring, and I'm certain that Terry is there as well. And no! Not only does Zahara kick out, Terry manages to get out of that tornado DDT situation and Roxy utilizing herself as a weapon. Roxy just staring down at Zahara, wondering what she has to do to defeat her now. She's trying to catch Meow, who was not as effective as she had hoped. And she really just wants to watch Zahara crawl. Now finally coming in, trying to tackle from behind, but Sahara says no. And Roxy rolling through. Here's the cover. Bit of a stall for the count. Just a two count. Two. And just a pair of two counts. The tag out to Zoe and Sahara. I assume that she was about to tag Terry. Decides not to. And Zoe with a quick bulldog goes for the cover. Only a two count. Hard shot and lifting. Oh, reverse DDT. There's the cover again. Two. And that is enough. So he's picking up the pinfall. Perhaps Sahara really should have tagged up to Terry. Okay. So he's victorious here tonight for her team, the unorthodox team that is, of herself, and Troxel Stevenson. Troxel with a cat and missing out on that kick, and Terry just celebrating a bit too early, especially as the celebration is for Sahara, I'm sorry, Zoe, 
and Roxy. A sign of things to come for the Friday the 13th event. And what is that event, ladies and gentlemen? Well, you should know. Wait a minute. The door killer was trying to call out the fourth member of the horsemen. Still don't know who that is, but instead we have Hype coming out here. Who is door killer's current co-champion as well. Member of the Fortunate Sons. There's some issues developing between these two. Precisely as what is Hype doing coming out here?
that's pretty much it, ladies and gentlemen. The tonight champions argue with between themselves over who will be facing off the fourth member of the four horsemen at Friday the 13th. Sort of bombshell news that we have of Dark Killer wanting to face off against the fourth horseman. And of course, Knight putting up his own arguments on why that really should be. He should be the one to face the fourth member of the, of the illustrious team. Uh, with the arrival of Kanak making his way to the ring. Kanak, who is also a bit upset over how things have gone lately. Unsuccessful in his quest for the World Heavyweight title back at SummerSlam. A match that he did not even lose. But, see what he has going forward here. Takes on yet another big man here in What's Up Wrestling. Back in Super Slam. Nice timing by the ring keeper. guy with some stiff shots knocking connect back to the return buckle he just walked out from sent across the ring and a hard clothesline taking connect down ultra guy looking to just end this thing quickly turn this thing into a slugfest and connect's gonna come right back with it connect who has a bit of a bone to pick he's not gonna just take it all lying down And a hard shot knocking Ultra Guy straight back to the canvas. Ultra Guy with a shot to the gut. Fighting back and just a shoulder block takes Kanak off his feet. Some pummeling blows there as Kanak escapes from the ring. Regain his bearings. And Ultra Guy right there again. Another clubbing blow atop the head. Into the ropes. And a boot to the gut. And Ultra Guy off the ropes. With a double axe handle drop to the knee. Kind of taken down. Ultra Guy. Showing what he's made of. Showing what he's learned these past few weeks. Consistently hitting the gym. Doing what he can. 
He has the burning desire. But Canuck has his capabilities and his own frustrations into the turnbuckles and just swung him right away. Fighting back, jawbreaker, and getting Canuck up on the shoulders. Can he? Yes, he can. The awesome power of Ultra Guy. That's not going to impress Canuck much. Digs in the shoulder claw. And Ultra Guy fades. Allowing Canuck. An opportunity for something and rolls it right into a sidewalk slam. And that's not it, Ultra Guy. Just pretty much dead weight at this time. But no, I spoke too soon. Clear your shots, but Canuck. No, no, Ultra Guy coming in from behind. Canuck right back into the corner. Pair of elbows rammed into the side of the head, and Ultra Guy feels it. Flexing out for the crowd. There's a little less of that, and more paying attention to your opponent. And back break right through the hair, and again! Ultra Guy just yanking out the hair, strands by strands. And Canuck with Ultra Guy up, and Ultra Guy no kicks his way out, and German suplex. Ultra Guy could do it. Ultra Guy could come out of here victorious, and a hefty splash across the back. But no, Canuck's feet in the ropes. Ultra Guy may be worn out. He's done quite a lot. Connect's going to take advantage. But Ultra Guy doing what he can to keep up. Knees to the head, sending Connect away. Snap there, and no! Elbow to the, straight to the face. Canuck catching hold as Canuck, or Ultra Guy catching hold, sorry. Canuck trying for a sidewalk slam. Could not get the hold in. Another pinning attempt from Ultra Guy. Canuck enables the break free there. And Ultra Guy with Canuck back on his feet into the turnbuckle. And straight up into the air. Damn near out of the ring. An ultra guy not going to let it slow him down. Connect again taken down. An ultra guy, yes. Running out of steam here. He's not built for the long hauls. He's built to put things away quickly. And this could be the end. Gorilla press. And down goes Canuck. Let's Canuck up and takes him down again. And running splash to the back. And here's the count. Knees on the chest. But not enough leverage. Of course not. As such, Canuck was able to get out and it takes a elbow to the back for his troubles. Be the biggest upset in what's up wrestling history if Ultra Guy can come out of here victorious. And again, he sweeps out Canuck's feet, taking him down. This crowd saw the lean behind of Ultra Guy. Who gets in a suplex? Lifted 
Pablo taking Canuck down. Two. Two count only. That's steadily brought back up. And Ultra Guy going to keep, keep him up. And suplex. Just raining down the blows. But Canuck is going to take a lot more to take him down. And Ultra Guy squirms in behind. Side Russian leg sweep. And again, Ultra Guy, the ultra power. The electricity. And once more for good measure. And all you guys is trying to bust Canuck open. And finally, after 18 blows to the head, Ultra Guy victorious here. Certainly taken to his limit, but definitely, definitely victorious here. Canuck's frustrations may have gotten the better of him. May have clouded his mind. This Ultra Guy is victorious. And again, taking Canuck down. And as we say, Ultra Guy victorious here in Saskatoon. Be the one step he needs to becoming million dollar champion number guy are you watching he is he's got rolls away Back to the Vixens action, one on one. Harper Maloney of the Page Turning Centerfolds. Down with the newest member, Bo Daniels, a former runway model, hoping to make it here in Russian Wrestling as a wrestler. Come out and investigate her first wrestling match here. And it's Harper Maloney to take on Crystal Weiss. For a newcomer like Chloe to watch up close. Only a former tag team champion, former Miss Money in the Bank. Paige still doing what she can to introduce those from the entertainment slash adult industry. see Summer Holly Madison coming down with Crystal Weiss. So Summer has taken some sort of shine to Crystal. Last week a tremendous matchup between the two. Not Summer coming up victorious, but has high hopes, it seems, for Crystal's future here in West Up Wrestling. We have a new theme song for Crystal Weiss here. Sign of good things to come to the Royal Rumble winner of last year. Reminds us that we have a, a we are so close to the 2024 Royal Rumble. Who will be going to WrestleMania? As this time we don't actually have to fight for the rights this time, so we can actually say that, ladies and gentlemen. Crystal taking 
control here. Running knee to the side of Harper's head. Imagine getting that kick to the face. Well, close certainly as we're learning how to take hits. So the ropes goes Harper, comes right back and catches hold of Crystal's leg. Up on the shoulders now. Bit of a spin. And dropping Crystal down. Diving elbow to the face. In, into the ropes and trying to come in there but no manages to catch hold regardless and dropping suplex job raker from crystal gets in a running kick to harper's face On the shoulders and off the top rope. Stuff kicks to the back end. Just slams down the arm as well for good measure. That's run into the corner. It wrestles Crystal down. And gets in the scoop slam. Huge rarity here in West of Wrestling. Got to call it for what it is anytime it's shown. Tremendous back suplex by Crystal. Just trying to figure out where she should bring Harper and all this jerking around, allowing Harper to come in with some elbows to the gut. There's not the time to dance there, Harper. And swing around. Head scissors taking Crystal down. Driving fist drop to the face, but Crystal comes right back up. Stiff shot, and now the knee to the side of the throat. Cover up for the cover, and just a one count only. Shot to the back and bringing Harper to her feet, but Harper driving those rabbit ears into the throat of Crystal. And Crystal just dropped hard. And here's the cover. Two. And just a two count. Jumping fist drop, this time to the chest. Jumper, Bulldog unsuccessful there. Kick to the gut though. And misses out of the scissors kick. And Harper just tosses Crystal away. Kick to the gut. Gonna take Crystal for the ride and again drops her straight down. Here's the cover once more. Two. And Harper victorious here over Crystal. Definitely enough there for Flo to learn something of interest. There's a fist drop to the face. All came to an end when Crystal attempted her scissors kick but was caught. Yes. 
side. Great fair deal. What is this? Tina Molina coming down to the ring. Takes a shot and Chloe's going to get herself involved. And Tina trying to get into a fight. Some are standing by. Some are going to join in. No, Summer. Whatever reason is trying to attack. So trying to go for Harper, but the whole thing here is that Tina came in, is fighting out with Harper and Summer and Chloe keeping their distance, but in comes Summer again. Chloe trying to do something here. Harper managing to fight back in Summer again. Anytime Harper gets hold of anything. Summer just comes running right in. And Summer joining in here. It's not like Summer at all. And Chloe managing to take down Tina. It just stops away as Summer takes some shots on Harper. Tina finally uh, exiting the ring. I don't know what's going on here, ladies and gentlemen. There's a celebration for Harper. But then Tina came in and Summer... Voice of Wrestling is brought to you by Snacky Smarters. Eat Snacky Smarters. Start making his way to the ring. What is this Moose now? Moose assaulting Superstar from behind. Just raining down the blows. Ranger's already in the ring waiting for this one to go. More officials being called out here. Who's finally being restrained and don't know what, what's going on here. For whatever reason, Moose was attacking Superstar and Ranger's going to come out. Is he going to pick up the pieces or is he going to bring Superstar into the ring? Well, thankfully, just bringing Superstar into the ring, I mean, the decent thing would have been to just let the Superstar have a rest, but at the very least, Ranger is not continuing the fight on the outside, but still going to take advantage of the fact the Superstar was just nailed. Trying for a half combo clutch. Superstar, the World Heavyweight Champion, fighting back. I don't really know what Moose was attempting there. The Superstar slowing things down, torquing out the head, the neck, the shoulder. And off the rope with a frog splash. A dangerous opponent for Superstar to be facing. Especially, I was just going to say, just after even a triple threat match two weeks ago. But even after getting attacked from behind by Moose. So Ranger attempting it overhead belly to belly. Couldn't get it quite in. The superstar now. Coming down in the ribs. Hits the ropes and ooh. This is not the only assault we've seen recently here in West Up Wrestling. Probably ever it did attack Queen Amazonia just last week prior to her match with Carmella. Queen Amazonia was able to work her way around that and come out victorious. Will Superstar be able to do the same? So he seems to have full belief in himself that this will be the case. And Superstar kicking his way out in reverse DDT, taking Ranger down. Trying for the sharpshooter and gets it locked in. It's via submission that Queen Amazonia won last week. But not this time. At least not yet. And Superstar does not let Ranger get in anything. Ranger getting to his feet. Could be feeling starstruck soon. And indeed starstruck the canvas and I think that busted a ranger open and we yes we see the blood on the forehead here's the count two and just a two count the 
You can't hope to beat the man with one starstruck when he survived three F5s and judgment days alike. That's why I say Ranger is a very dangerous opponent in any situation, let alone being attacked from the back on the way to the ring by a giant man in the form of Moose. Recover, perhaps just to give himself some time to still recover from that reeling effect of having his head busted open. Taking things to a slower pace. And getting in that camel clutch. He really shouldn't be shaking his head so much. Probably would have allowed Superstar to come in and turn things around here. He can go slow, but Ranger fighting his way back out and a stiff shot to the face. And what does Superstar have planned here? Whatever it is, Ranger kicks him away, does not take the opportunity, and perhaps pays for it. I mean, nobody said he had to climb all the way to the top rope. He could have come off the middle rope. Swing around, snap arm, tries for a headbutt, but Superstar with an elbow there instead. Nick Breaker across the back, across the knee. Up on the top rope. And shooting star press. Will that be it? Two. And just a two count again. Superstar quick to his feet though. And falls right over. I think by now everyone just knows that it's just overconfidence there. with his forearm but catches pretty much falls into the arm drag and a bulldog from Superstar and Superstar once more going for the sharpshooter gets it locked in Ranger the rope's just out of reach and Ranger taps out Ranger taps out Superstar victorious here as impressive a victory as that is it's still a question what was Moose doing? Kicking Superstar away there. That first attempt with the sharpshooter. And the starstruck. As impressive as that was, take a look at this shooting star press from the top rope. And again, the shooting star press. Superstar victorious here. I think he's going to be going into the back looking directly for Moose. I don't know what the hell that was all about. And indeed, one task over, another begins. really two people we have on the warpath here of West Nut Wrestling. Backstage area, Superstar and Canuck. Blue pass don't cross. Alright ladies and gentlemen, number guy victorious back at SummerSlam taking on another great former million dollar champion in Stone Cold Steve Austin. Still has yet to find himself a worthy challenge for his title belt. Tremendous fighting champion. He invited himself into his own number one contendership matchup. His own very title. And he's throwing out the gauntlet to the four horsemen. Answers the 
call. And it will be Johnny Wisdom. Johnny Wisdom of the Four Horsemen. Alongside Greg, Buddy, Faith, and Shane Evans. Still awaiting the arrival of the fourth member. And this could be a mistake for Number Guy because he said fourth member could come here tonight. Or during or after this matchup. Wisdom is ready for this one. An opportunity for this fresh faced individual here in What's Up Wrestling. Come running in, taking number guy down with a DDT. I'm trying to think of a uh, descriptive for that one. I want to just keep using the word spiking. And wisdom up on the top rope. And take the. Uh, the high risk opportunity here. Will it pay off? And it does. Top rope. Hurricane Rana. Hold on the arms, but number guy wrenches himself free. Leg sweep as the number guy turned things around here. And some elbows to the top of the head. Last week we saw Shane Evans trying to get himself involved in the Fubar division, or at least continue getting himself involved. Did not work out for him. At least didn't take a loss, but still. Up, trying for a brain buster, but wisdom holding him up for a backdrop and a kick across the back. Just driving the forearm across every guy's head, I'm trying to get him, gets him indeed. Pulling him up with a German suplex and he's just yelling down at him. He's knowing just how dangerous number guy is. And that are just stunned by what he's accomplished. Give number guy an opportunity to come in, but wisdom managing to take back control. Into the corner and number guy just takes it. And number guy again just takes and turns right around. Throws feet and kicks in the gut. And another DDT. He's steadily making his way up. And number guy sees him and takes him to the outside. Guy trying for a body slam could not connect there. And wisdom, well, showing his wisdom and getting back into the ring. And those ropes are a lot softer than those mats, that's for certain. Number guy suplex right onto the knees. Of quickness of number guy to be able to pull something like that off. And number guy with the ankle lock. And the ankle lock locked in. And wisdom trying, trying in vain. Gonna hold on as long as he can. And ultimately, wisdom does survive. But feels a suplex for his troubles. And number guy again with that dragon sleeper. This is what took. No, I was going to say this is what took Austin out of it. But Wisdom managed to get to the ropes in time. 
Arm drag on number guy. A headbutt. Somehow, some way, wisdom is moving around. Trying to come in from behind, but number guy says no. This was a high angle backdrop. The number guy again trying for that ankle lock, but this time Wisdom had it scouted. And what is Wisdom doing? He's got number guy prone. Not even calling for number guy to come up to his feet. Instead, just going to stand there and preen. And another running DDT. Is Wisdom just mocking number guy at this point? Number guy steadily getting up to his feet. We know what happens here. And a shot knocking number guy to the outside. Fight this non title encounter continues and into the steel steps. Into the barricade this time. That suplex right on top, and then a kick to the face for good measure. We're up to six now. Trying for a bulldog, but again, number guy fighting back. Number guy is not down and out. Into the ropes. Number guy not going. No, there he goes. I was going to say it was number guy not going to deliver his his famous head smashes. And again, Dragon Sleeper, but this time, middle of the ring, middle of the ring, and Wisdom has nowhere to go, and he taps out as a result, number guy victorious here. Another submission victory for number guy. Is there anyone who can take the Billy Dawn Championship? Is there anyone who can just prove themselves worthy of fighting? Okay, taking that title, he said he was going to make it mean something. He said he was going to be a fighting champion, and by golly, he is. He is that, and so much more. Why does he look so He is that, and a party-sized bag of chips, ladies and gentlemen. And then he said, "He is number guy." Synonymous with that title. And I don't just mean because it's a million dollar title. I mean because the guy wears it with pride. The pride of the Irish. What's the wrestling is brought to you by the Fighting Monkeys. Or are they being sponsored by us? Well, either way, the money is going somewhere, ladies and gentlemen. See Canuck still making his way into the back, and looks like he's oh, superstar who is also on his way into the back, looking for Moose. And though, two frustrated individuals running into each other, and of course, ladies and gentlemen, we knew that this was going to happen. Yeah, yeah. Looking superstar just brawling in the back, and well, to say that this one of them is brawling. Yeah, superstar finally managing to fight back, but just. Shoves away. Honestly, I don't think we've seen things go this south in a backstage brawl in some time. Is uncharted territory here in West Up Wrestling. Yeah. Superstar fighting back, elbow to the head, and clapping the hands aside, Canuck's head. Yeah. By the office or the gorilla position. 
Hard to tell here. But either way, Superstar tossing Canuck straight into those doors. Again, Superstar was just on his way to find Moose. And Valentine was just hell bent and frustrated from his lost Ultra guy. Superstar just dropped down. I was going to say, what? Superstar just counter out. And what is the, where are we now? Backstage. That is the grill position. No. Same chairs and tables. Advertisement for an inferior show. Superstar just celebrating this like he's one or something. And here, ladies and gentlemen, treading new ground. What's up, wrestling? Somebody had put all those crates in a precarious position. Hopefully, none of these two men get any sort of ideas. Yeah. As this draw continues, and Canuck now managing to get the better of it. Just pummeling Superstar in a circle. And Superstar is the back of his head hitting the top of that wire covering. And Canuck just takes that once more and just nails Superstar and kicks him back. And back out to the hall he goes. And Canuck follows with close behind. And Canuck just beckoning Superstar to his feet. Oh, and choke slam! Choke slam! Ouch! No bats. That is just beer concrete. <laughs> I mean, these two weren't even looking for each other. But still, when they found each other, they went right to a fight. And here we go. Well, the Everett pretty much asked for it last week. He was attacking Amazonia from behind. Getting a bit of revenge. Or just, not really revenge, but just perhaps trying to send a message. Last week after SummerSlam where Amazonia was invited into that tag team title matchup. And as a result, it's just attacking her from behind. Amazonia will have an opportunity at revenge for herself. The former tag team champion. Member of the Glow Girls, which is growing there, not within, but just towards recent events, as we mentioned earlier tonight, Suko losing the Women's Championship, and then the tag titles just last week. On top of that, Ida unsuccessful in acquiring the Queen of the Ring for a second year in a row. Not been the summer for the Glow Girls. I think this is how it ends for them. Hopefully, the fall will become better. Winter, they can turn things around. And spring, they'll be back on top. That is if Riley can even survive here tonight, facing off against the Wrath of Amazonia. Regardless, Riley is ready for this one. Amazonia just staring a hole at Riley. I think Riley just now realizing 
She's on her own here in Amazonia. She does not play slow. Rushes right in with a DDT. And brings Riley up in a clubbing shot to the top of the head. Riley doing what she can to fight back. Tries with a spinning heel kick. Misses, but Amazonia certainly doesn't miss with that Irish whip. And just tosses Riley across the ring. And a hefty shoulder claw. All that pressure and power. But Riley managing to come out of it. There's a shot to the arm. Not exactly a shot of good luck. Into the ropes. And tries for, I imagine, a Hurricane Rana, but just misses out on that. But gets it regardless. Running Snapmare, snapping Amazonia back to the canvas. High kicks in the side of the head, and Amazonia doesn't even flinch. Down to the corner, and this does not fare well for, for Riley. And Riley up on her feet, another kick, this time knocking Amazonia down. He's certainly not backing down here. There's enough proof that Amazonia can't be defeated. She takes the right sort of individual. And Riley may have that level of heart, that dedication, that willpower to just keep surviving. Carmella put on one hell of a fight just last week. just staring down at Riley just like letting her recover letting her realize what she's in here for staring up at the giantess that is Amazonia and running bulldog it's all giving Riley an opportunity to fight back This is just all part of Amazonia's plan to just let Riley build up some sort of momentum. Let her believe that it may have all backfired on Amazonia. Because Riley is doing a lot more than that. And with the cover, one count only. That may have been enough to just wake up Amazonia, make her realize what is going on here. <clears throat> Diving splash off the top. And only a one count. And Riley up right into the torture rack. Is this it for the glow girl? And no, it's not. It wasn't before SummerSlam, and it is not tonight. Sharing of forearms now. Amazonia way across the ring. Enough time for Amazonia to cut Manor up. Bit of offense, but no. Riley fighting back. Going for the quick cover, middle of the ring, and just a one count only again. There's a lot more you have to do left there, Riley. And again with a hurricane run, as Amazonia rolls up to the apron. Continue to her feet. Riley going to do it. Riley, Riley comes running. Couldn't quite do it with the shoulder block. Amazonia too much of a wall. And Riley not backing down. Not even going to try for the count out. 
is the cause of Amazonia's first loss against Catherine. And leg lock DDT. Riley was about to bring Amazonia up. And up Amazonia. And Riley fighting her way out. Not going to take the KO punch just yet. Or even ever. Riley knows well enough how that feels. And another leg lock DDT. And this time, Riley following up with a pinfall. Will this be a two? And just a two count. But slowly but surely, Riley is climbing up that ladder. Climbing it up towards victory. Amazonia turning things around. And a hard shot to the face. And a hard backbreaker. Don't know which was harder. Amazonia now just stopping away. And Riley again. The willpower, the heart, the everything. And Mount Everett connects and rolls right into a cover. Will this be a... And just a two count. Two and a half. Riley, you're getting closer. Knee drop across the throat. Riley's feeling this from this capacity proud. They can feel it too. With the killer of hope. With a KO shot to the face out of nowhere. And Riley falls victim. Doing everything she could. In the end, coming so close, but just a KO shot is enough for Amazonia to pick up the victory. And Amazonia, no, looks right back in and just continues the assault on Riley. Continues the assault. Riley, who had fought hard, fought valiantly, worked her way up to a two and a half count. I think Amazonia finds that most displeasurable of all, the fact that Riley tried.